Hi, this is Rick. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Digital Fortress, where I talk about technologies related to digital currencies and demonstrate how some of the products work. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the difference in network performance between Cardano 1.2 and Cardano 1.3 with the recent release of the latest Daedalus wallet. I've set up a test here on my laptop. Sorry for the poor lighting. It's uh, I'm in a hotel in San Diego. I don't have my normal server. I use my laptop here. Um, I've set up virtual machines. Let me take a look at those. Okay, on the virtual machines, I have two identical Windows Server 2012 computers. I've loaded Geekbench to verify that both computing environments are identical. I came up with the same results. Very similar, single core speed, 4039, multi-core, 2753, 4039, 3788. So very similar performance there. I ran internet speed tests. They're both showing the same internet connection on both of these virtual machines. Uh, 4.7 megabits per second, 4.9. I made sure I was using the same servers um, to test those. So nearly identical machines, good enough for a valid test between 1.2 and 1.3. So let's get to the test. I have Cardano 1.2 running on the left and 1.3 running on the right. I'll begin the install. Now launch Deadless and compare the synchronization times. I'll wait until it catches up. Not responding. There it goes. Okay, now both are caught up. At this point, I'll let the sync process proceed and see how long it takes. All right, test complete. It took about six hours. It's uh, daylight now. Let's take a look at the results. Okay, the test conditions. I use a MacBook Pro 2017, virtualized with VirtualBox. I used the operating system on VirtualBox Windows Server 2012. I gave each virtual machine four gigabyte of RAM, one Core i7 at 2.9 gigahertz a piece. Video was 128 megabyte shared allocated. SSD was virtualized, 45 gigabytes a piece. I ran Geekbench on both machines, got an identical Geekbench of 4039. Uh, the network speed tests came out to 4.7 to 4.9 megabits per second, although it was different per machine. They're both sharing the same network connection. So these are less than optimal conditions. That test practically could have run on my iPad. It was laggy, so even though the um, machine processing power was very weak, there was a little bit of lagginess that was to be understood. So the results there at the bottom, good news, 
We had the start time of 23.59 for both tests. It took 328 minutes for Cardano 1.2, 93 minutes for Cardano 1.3, which is at least 3.5 times faster. And there is a slight artificiality to the test where 1.3 finished, 1.2 started speeding up again because it got all of the network bandwidth, whereas 1.3 is no longer using it. So it's at least 3.5 times faster and possibly more. And also good news there, the file system size, Cardano 1.2, 11.8 gigabyte, Cardano 1.3, 6.54 gigabytes, so nearly twice as less. I was glad to see I could run both those virtual machines on this laptop. I had run Ethereum Mist before, just one copy natively on the MacBook Pro, and I had to take it off because it, Ethereum Mist was just using up way too much power, causing the laptop to overheat, and had to switch to MetaMask for Ethereum. Um, but so it was good to see that uh, we could run Daedalus in such a constrained environment. I think those are pretty good test results. I look forward to Cardano 1.4 coming out. I'm going to run the same tests again. I might combine it into one video instead of having two separate videos. I would like to give a shout out to all of my subscribers and some fellow YouTubers. We have Vito GOL and Philippa also making Cardano videos out. So check out their channels. Um, do, doing a great job out there, guys. Keep up the good work. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe. Also, leave me some comments down below. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.